Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do a quick mini read for every sign. I know I've been missing in action, but um, I do a lot more outside of t Tarot. This is a hobby of mine. It kind of turned into a business, I guess. Anyhow, let's get started. Um, thank you for all who are uh, continuing to come back and who are still subscribers okay thank you to my new subscribers also okay so um uh love and romance career and finance and then we'll look at the the card at the bottom of the deck and then we have our butterfly oracle card okay so let's see wow okay will of fortune for love and romance the chair what <laughs> okay two majors we have the chariot and the wheel of fortune um wow that's all i can say is wow it's um a wow situation <laughs> okay so the wheel of fortune talks about change change for the better the wheel is turning now it's the culmination of it's a 10 so think of all the 10s the 10 of pentacles the 10 of cups the 10 of swords the 10 of wands um you get to release all of that or you get to live in the culmination the fulfillment the highest level of happiness with the 10 of cups um you get to see the tangible results with the 10 of pentacles um 10 of swords the worst is now over. You've gone through it. Uh, Ten of Wands. You can lay down the burden or you can continue to carry. It's up to you. The wheel is turning. What will Cancer do? Wow. The Chariot. The Chariot is a seven card. It's all about the sevens. Okay. So the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups. The Seven of uh, Wands. The Seven of Swords. This is... Uh, this is a uh, strategy this is options this is standing your ground and this is assessment so before you can move forward cancer you have to do all of those things you know seven of pentacles at assessing what you have done thus far maybe over seven year cycle seven year period seven months uh, or take seven out it's more so looking at the time energy um, spent in a situation we're talking about love uh, is am I getting what I want am I moving forward am I stagnant that's assessing where you are uh, ass assessing what you're doing and who you're doing it with then um, seven of wands it would be to actively stand your ground on a particular position after you have assessed where you are now you you can um, kind of say okay well this is what I'm doing or this is the way I'm going now uh, and I mean it because I'm going to progress to the eight of wands where I'm actually going to be doing and taking action and moving forward it's going to be rather quickly uh, then we're at the seven of swords strategizing you may have to plan in secret you may have to sneak away. You may, you may have to make a secret plan. It's all what that is all about. It's not, you know, it's deception in in at an extent, but it's not. You know, you you could be being deceptive. I don't know. Seven of Swords is also about strategy too. He sneaks away from the camp with the Five Swords, leaves two behind. Some of you could be leaving behind a relationship, uh, a marriage where there's two people, you and one other person. Uh, and then we have the seven of, of cups. We have either cancer is engaging in cancer is having visions, dreams, epiphanies. Uh, of options of of different ways they could go in a situation uh, cancer is cancer may have this could be vice versa also maybe making promises just to break them maybe they are a unfaithful spouse or partner 
cancer is um, daydreaming about um, having illusions about a particular you fill in the blank person place thing this is love so but this is about when cancer goes through the sevens I just went through you then can move forward you can get in control of those emotions seven of cups you get in control of your actions seven of wands you get in control of uh, your energy your time spent maybe even money with the seven of pentacles you get in control uh, by way of mentally by strategizing and actually moving forward with the seven of swords so this is very good and love it looks like there's gonna be some change here and some progression some forward movement cancer is now in control of the light and the dark the lesser the more the the sun and the moon marrying the two so that they can move forward effortlessly um, they weren't in control of maybe emotions maybe thoughts I don't know but it looks very good because something's turning some destiny some fate is happening here okay career and finance for cancer king of pentacles nice five of pentacles all right okay immediately what i'm hearing is that cancer especially for some like cancer men feel as if there's a, a lot of obligation within whatever they're in um or whatever they have gotten themselves into um five of pentacles talks about lack lack and uh, lack of confidence uh, lack of will just lack completely cancer the king of pentacles is the business owner the, the money man the the person who makes solid found foundational um, uh, choices that governs each and every person involved there's a lot of obligation with the king of pentacles and, and cancer is feeling that way um, feeling like there's heavy heavy obligation that maybe you got yourself into now feeling as if there's mistrust and well distrust mistrust uh, in regards to in regards to money in regards to feeling like there's not enough you may have more expenses than money coming in at one point maybe in your career and finance it was you you felt like you could handle all of this but now it's now cancer is in a place of something's changing in regards to um an established way of doing or something that was is long term this could be a, a job that you were at for a long term long time or have been something's changing here you don't feel confident about it there's lack here um, Hmm. something changed to where now you feel that way you're still showing up as the king of pentacles so it's, there's not a physical lack of money but now it's something about you not feeling like there's this is happening for you or this is moving forward somebody feels stuck stagnant okay bottom of the deck wow knight of pentacles it's taking a long time to offer either to you cancer Capricorn Virgo Taurus so it's taking a long time to offer the pentacle something solid something stable the the uh, the title girlfriend boyfriend or the ring but it's coming because the knight of pentacles he he gets where he has always meant to be when it looks like to other people that this person is dragging their feet or they don't they don't care any longer this night is moving at his or her own own pace 
because they want to make sure that this is number one what they really want to do number one that this stays around for a very long time we're dealing with someone who is Capricorn Virgo Taurus in their chart cancer like yourself an offer could be coming in love and romance maybe even in career finance let's see what's going on here changing your mind yeah something about especially in career finance maybe even love and romance um changing your mind uh so something happened change here fives are about change something cropped up from the past somebody's definitely assessing where they are where they want to be and now something's changed and they're changing their mind about moving forward in a particular manner hmm. they don't feel confident about maybe where they are in career finance love and romance here changing your mind it's okay to change your mind you have now assessed the situation you feel differently just let everyone know everyone involved know that your mind is now changing okay cancer this is your reading i hope that it gave you a bit of clarity um if you want to book a reading all of my information is below go to the website book the reading i am very busy now uh, will be for the next maybe three months but um try your luck if i'm not busy i will do the reading if i am i will just if i am busy i will just refund your money um that's you know that's that anyhow cancer know that i'm praying for you pray for me as well uh, happy new year it's still january so i'm still gonna say happy new year okay take care guys bye